Sadly, the Superbase launch week is over, but not to fear because there's another launch week happening right now from our friends at Recent. And so we thought in honor of their launch week, let's use one of our features that we launched last week together with Recent. And specifically what we can use here are the email hooks uh, for Superbase Auth. And we can use something like uh, Recent's React email library, which brings some nice React components for creating emails. And so what we want to do is we want to create um, a super custom magic link email here, we have the magic link, or we can just use the code to log in, and we can fully customize this in react. So now let's have a look at how we can do this with Superbase edge functions and the new email auth hook. So here, in Superbase edge functions, we can just create a new edge function, we call it auth hook react email recent. Uh, so very self explanatory. And then we can just use react email here, um, the components and import that via npm into our um, Superbase edge functions. So we have a component here. So we're just using kind of a templates folder. And here we have our TSX files with our magic link um, component. And we're using react email here, we have some props. So our Superbase URL, the email action type redirect to token hash and token. So these we are getting from um, the Superbase auth hook, which is, you know, basically a web hook that just sends this to our deployed Superbase edge function. And then here, we're just using react and react email to construct our email, we're putting together our um, magic link here with kind of the different parameters that we get from the webhook. And then also we're just saying, you know, alternatively, you can use the login code um, instead. And then we're just adding a little footer, uh, some styling here. So this is all kind of within react email. And then in our index file, we can, you know, again, just import uh, resend from npm um, and react and react email and we have a render async method here. So we just need our recent API key. And then we need to send an email hook secret so that we can set up in this Superbase dashboard in a little bit. And then here we just have our webhook. Um, basically, we're using also a library called the standard webhooks to um, kind of construct our webhook payload from the secret and kind of verify um, that the webhook is all good with the webhook secret coming in. And then we just construct our payload from um, the webhook here. And we just get out our token, token hash, our redirect to and our email action type. Um, and then what we can do is we can render our uh, magic link component here, we're passing in the super base URL and kind of all the um, email details that we need. And then really, you know, recent incredibly neat, um, we can just say recent emails sent, um, we specify, you know, onboarding our own uh, email domain is super easy as well with recent. So we can do that. And then we can just get the user's email address um, from the auth hook. And you know, super custom magic link. And that is pretty much it. And then we just need to reply um, with a 200. Okay, and just kind of an empty uh, object here. And then our auth hook knows everything went well. So the way we can configure that in the Superbase dashboard is in our project, we can just go to authentication. Um, and then here in the hooks uh, it's currently in beta. So you can say add a hook and you specifically say um, the email hook. So we already uh, configured our send email hook here. Um, and then after we've deployed our Superbase edge function, uh, we get our auth hook edge function here, we can put that in. And then when we say configure hook, you can actually configure here here, um, the webhook secret. So you can just say generate secret. And then the part that you need is everything kind of after the underscore. So this is what you need to copy out into your Superbase edge function environment variable. 
So you can uh, look in here if we go to our env.local.example, the recent API key you get from the recent dashboard. And this here is our base64 secret that we just copied here. Just remember without the details from the v1 uh, webhook secret underscore. So we'll just save that in our um, .env file. And then we deploy our edge function. And that is pretty much it. We enable our email hook here. And then we just need to say uh, update and we're good to go. And so now if we're going to our authentication and you know, uh, we're for example, sending a magic link email here to our user, we can see that was successfully sent. And now we can see already there is a new email coming in. And we can see if we copy this link address here. So that is what was put together for us. We can see the token, um, our type is the magic link. And we enter this in, I don't have my application running, but we can see we get the access token here. So everything is set up configured correctly. And we're ready to go with our super custom magic links. Lovely. I hope this is useful and we can't wait to see what you're building with Superbase and Recent. Just remember, if you don't really need that custom stuff, you can just use the Recent integration. So you can just go Superbase, Recent um, works with Superbase and you can literally just with a couple clicks configure that and you're good to go. So really depends, you know, how custom you want to have it, but you can use React email with Superbase Edge functions and the auth hooks and really customize everything if you want to. Awesome. I'll see you next time. And until then, keep building cool stuff.